Greece is open. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. As you know, if you've seen me before, you know I love talking about tech and about the Kindle. And one of the reasons I love the Amazon Kindle is you can take it anywhere you want. Uh, it's like taking a portable library. And as you can probably see, I am not uh, at home right now. I am in Athens, Greece. So I wanted to give you, you know, a little treat and show you um, some places I travel to and why I love the Kindle, because you can take it anywhere. And along the way, I thought, if you think of Greece, you think of good food. And one of the most popular foods that everybody eats is the gyro or the sovlaki. They're a little bit different. It's the pita in the bread, but I wanted to take you guys to some of my favorite places to eat the gyro. As always, if you like my videos, please hit that like button and subscribe. Let's go. All right, our first stop is Savas, and this is in Monastiraki Square. Monastiraki is one of the most famous squares in Athens, so you'll definitely have to check it out when you come visit. Okay, our first stop is Savas, and as the sign says, it was established 1925, and this is kind of my go-to place for a Sublaki or for a Giro. Check it out. All right, now I got the traditional Giro, which is the lamb, and they usually have tomato, lettuce, onion, tzatziki sauce, and french fries. Uh, so I like this one, but my friend here got the chicken. So you can get shaved chicken or shaved lamb or shaved pork, but I like the beef or the chicken. It's very good. I barely ate any breakfast just so I could save room because I knew this was going to be the gyro day. second stop on our gyro slash uh, sovlaki uh, tour. This is a place called Kostas and it's also been around for a really long time. It's near Monastiraki where we just were in Syntagma. Now this is a sovlaki, not a gyro because it's chunks of chicken, not the shaved one. But pretty much they're the same taste except for Kostas has added this tomato sauce. So I'm going to try this and let you know how it is. I like it with the tomato sauce. It um, adds a different kind of uh, taste to it, uh, different texture, but uh, I do enjoy it. All right, I see why they give it to you in this tray. I've never had a solaki or a gyro in the tray, but this thing kind of explodes out the back. So make sure if you come to Costas, eat it in the tray because it, it got all over me. This is also another really good place. I have to review on a different day called Falafis. And so you get some great falafel there. It's another kind of wrap, but for a different day.
okay, this is Ammonia Square. This is the center of Athens. So this, this square is the exact center of Athens. They just renovated this whole uh, area, this whole square, added this beautiful fountain. So we're on our way uh, to our third Sov Sovlaki slash Giro shop. And uh, if you come to Greece, you definitely have to come to Ammonia Square. Lots of traffic here in this area as well. You have to be very brave to drive in Athens. All right, place number three. We have a Sovlaki, a beef one. Um, it's kind of tiny, I gotta be honest. For 250, I found a lot bigger. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and give this a bite and see if it's worth it because this is kind of a micro Sovlaki. I have to say that the beef, the beef is really good. So good taste, small souvlaki, um, plus this area, if you take a look around, it's not the nicest uh, place that you're gonna eat. So if you come to this area, know that it's off the beaten path. Maybe not safe at night, but if it's in the day, no problem. Okay, now we're at our fourth place. This place is called Hukut and it's between Monastraki and Syntagma. So let's go check them out. All right, now we're at our fourth place again, this Hukut, and here it is, the chicken um, gyro. It's the gyro, because there's the shredded, the shaved chicken. No fries, uh, some green onion. Nice presentation here. So good presentation, but let's take a bite and let's see the most important thing, the taste. Good. Crunchy pita, uh, nice uh, mustard, maybe a mustard mayonnaise mix sauce there. So overall, I like it and it's a nice environment too. So nice place to eat. After several hours of walking around, we're finally going to go to our fifth gyro slash Sovlaki shop. And this is Syntagma Square. Uh, this is a very famous area. Syntagma in Greece, in Greek, means constitution. So you see that's the, uh, one of the big government buildings there. A very famous walking street, lots of shopping uh, called Ermu. So overall, this is a very famous area, Syntagma Square. And now let's go get our final uh, dish for the night. All right, we finally made it to our last spot, our fifth spot. This is the Greco's project. But before I get the last gyro, uh, please make sure you like and subscribe. All right, got the last gyro for the evening, number five. This is a pork one, and it's a gyro again because it's just shaved meat. Um, no fries, but onion 
and some tomato and the tzatziki, of course. So uh, let me take a bite. Mmm, it's good. I like it. Mm. Now this one is three and a half euros, which is more expensive than the other ones because we're in the Syntagma area. And this is a more of an upscale, nice touristy area. So if you see, it's just, it's just a very nice area. So you're gonna pay a little bit more, but still a good uh, gyro. You're gonna have a hard time in Athens finding a bad gyro. Most of them are decent, solid and then good. Only once in a while will you have a bad one. So these are five places that I showed you. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.